<laughs> some stuff on my beats. I feel no about, son. We're gonna mix some stuff up for our own flavors. We're gonna take a beat, a sample from here, a vocal from here, a bass kick from this record. We're gonna get a horn from over here and a guitar. We're gonna make up a little track, a little something like, you know, something you can dance to, something you can listen to. We're gonna show you how we do it and how the pros do it. That sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna run a little pattern here. I'm gonna set myself up on a brand new track. I'm gonna do a beat here. I'm gonna try and get this beat going so that really I can make it rock. Press record and play. That's cool. My tempo's like 90.9. I want to put a snare drum. I'm going to pull the overdub off here. So I can start to record something. I'm going to do like a hi-hat first. So bang the hi-hat. Instead of 116. Next, I'm we'll starting to do right here. I'm gonna add some more stuff to this pattern. This is gonna be cool. Yeah. I'm add that. That's a loop I've got from a record, and I've got like a you know a harpsichord there with a drum pattern. Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna try and cut the drum pattern back a little. I'm going to try and filter that sample. First thing I want to do is I want to press program. And I'm making sure here for my list that I'm in the program I want to actually be in, which is my demo in this case. Next I'll press key group, hit the sample I want. And I'll press edit one. Here in edit one, I can actually change the pitch of the sample. As we saw earlier. But I don't put the right pitch I want to have it out here. I'm making it up zero, zero, zero. And what I want to do here is pretty much just take this sample and sort of EQ out the bass. I'm going to go to this filter section, and here in the filter section, I can change some of the sounds. See that? I'm changing, I'm sort of filtering the sample around. A little, little sound, a little sound from this thing, not so heavy. I've got a sound I like, I can mess with here. I can take that same sound, as you saw earlier in our tape, I took the sound, made the right tempo I wanted to have it at, I know the loop speed is. Go back to edit window. I can put right here the first beat of this two bar phrase that appears here as the first beat, the first step on this track. Go back to the main screen. I'm going to play this. I'm going to put this uh, harp in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this harp back in here now. Yeah. I want this one right here, yep. I took some samples and chopped them up the way I want to use them, of course. And I can use a bass, for example. Put a keyboard over here. 
We have a keyboard on this side. So the panel's like three pieces on this, pan this way. So it's a keyboard. It's a keyboard, right? I can go back down here. I've got these sounds that are already in the MPC. These sounds are from General MIDI. I put them in part six here. That's a bass sound I'm going to use. Make a bass line for this thing. I'm going to press like, uh, play. Let's record, play, two, three, four. So I'll put a little And play start. Okay, I'll make a beat up real quick, sort of a hip hop type style beat. I've got my drum going on here, my same, a different actually um, pattern, but the same sort of sequence type pattern. Okay, you got that there? I got a bass sample here. going here is kind of cool. I can like remix that same beat around. I'm going to mute those tracks right now that we just added. We're going to mute this guitar here next. I'm going to go to track mute. And here in track mute I can pick whatever pad I want which matches the track. I can pretty much just put the vocal back on. Turn the bass off. I can put the other keyboard on. Go back to let's say this uh the track. See? I'm gonna put it to my mixes also. Horn. I'll take the wood up again now. Turn the fuzz off, turn the bass off, bring back the hopsicle. When you try to off here, so I'm sort of mixing the tracks that I have from two different ideas together by turning one track off and the next track off. That's how you can sort of mix your stuff in to get a really good idea of how your music's going to sound for different flavors. <laughs> 